Ready as ever. Okay, Clarissa goes from Got it all under control. To This is a nightmare. In Enslaved by the Bell, two academic episodes of Nickelodeon's Clarissa Explains It All. You've got to see this. Clarissa explains why school plays are hazardous to your health. Actors are so temperamental. And why school pictures are hazardous to your image. Pitch. Plus, she stars in brand new stuff never seen anywhere before. I can't believe this has turned into such a big deal. But why go on? After all, Clarissa explains things better than anybody. Enslaved by the Bell. Two colorful episodes, one Clarissa tape. Available from Nickelodeon Home Video. School pictures coming up? Going on a blind date? Wondering what to do with your rotten little brother? Clarissa's got something to say about it all in her Nickelodeon video collection. Stop by your video store and see what the one and only Clarissa Darling has to say about romance, Ferguson, or a school. The Clarissa Video Collection, available only from Nickelodeon Video. When things go bump in the night, don't worry. It's probably just monsters! Monsters? Get real. Oh, but they are. Presenting Nickelodeon's new Sunday morning Nicktoon. Yeah! Real monsters. Join Ickus, Oblina, and Crumb as they try to scare the pants off humans. This was all you came up with! Keep your eyes peeled for these dump dwellers every Sunday morning. Especially since they'll soon be sneaking their way into your VCR. Yeah! Real Monsters are coming to Nickelodeon Video this fall. Till then, 99. Ferguson hits the campaign trail in President Ferguson and plays even more mind games in Ferguson Explains It All. Plus, can Ferguson hypnotize Clarissa? Find out in this Nickelodeon Video Extra. Oh, come on, sis, it's for school. Ferguson, I don't care what it's for. Why should I let you hypnotize me? Oh, I guess if the mind is weak, then the heart is afraid. Get a life, Ferguson. Besides, everyone knows hypnotism can't make you do stuff you wouldn't normally do anyway. Then what are you afraid of? That I'll make you think you're a chicken? Oh, wait a second. You already are a chicken. Okay. Okay, Ferguson. Get it over with. Really? Great. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up because I doubt it'll work. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Just relax. Now. Just sit there and let your mind go, okay? That is, if you have a mind. Ferguson! Uh, just a little hypnotist joke. Just trying to keep you loosened up, okay? It's all part of the technique. Ferguson, let's move it along. Okay. Now, you are getting sleepy. You're getting very, very sleepy. Your eyes are getting very, very heavy so heavy that you can't keep them open. Wow, it works. Okay. Now, at the count of three, you will fall under my power. One, two, three. Whoa. Okay, now repeat after me. You are under my power. You are under my power. No, you are under my power. No, wait, I'm under your... Oh, you know what I mean. I am under your power. That's better. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, I wonder what I could do with this awesome power. I should have thought of this years ago. All those times she ruined my plans. Like the time I ran for school president. Huh. If I could have controlled her mind, I know I would have won. OK, come on. I know you can do this. Act like a chicken. Buck, buck, bug up. Oh, come on. I know you can do that better. Buck, buck, bug up. Ah, uh, forget it. We'll go on to more important things. Where's my list? On the table. Oh, yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Don't get smart. Now, 
These are the three things that you have to do while you're under my power. Now, number one, I will never be competitive or argue with my brother again. Number two, I will regularly give my brother 10% of all my earnings, now and in the future. And finally, number three, and this is very important, if I ever hear the name Elvis again, I will find myself unable to speak. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Now, number three, it's just a safety feature. You know, just in case. So, let's test it out. Say something. Anything. For crying out loud, you've never been at a loss for words before. I await your command. Talk about clothes. Oh, I found this navy jacket and it went so well with the red vest I have, and you know it goes with the boots, and then... You Elvis! Know. It worked. Oh, okay, try it again. Uh, speak. And then I found this great red tennis skirt and it went so well with the knee Elvis, Elvis. Oh, this is great. I'm a natural at this hypnotism stuff. Mm, this could be the beginning of a whole new life for me. Imagine if I could control everything. How wonderful it would be. Well, I could do this all day, but we do have our lives to get back to. Those of us who do have lives. Okay, Clarissa. When I snap my fingers, you'll awake as if you've been asleep for a long, long time. And you'll remember nothing, because uh, it'll all be in your deep, dark subconscious. See, Ferguson, I told you it'd never work. Yeah, I was foolish to think that I could control a mind as brilliant as yours. So, by the way, do you have any money on you? Yeah, about five dollars. Well? Well what? Well, does the phrase 10% mean anything to you? Does the phrase get lost ring a bell, Dimple Brain? Wait, you're not supposed to argue with me. And why not? Because, because... I'm... Because you actually thought for a second that Dad's old stupid pocket watch would hypnotize me, and that I would have... Elvis, to... Elvis, Elvis! Sorry, Ferguson. But you had... You're... You're not under my power? That's right, Ferghead. I was faking it the whole time. Well, if I can't control your mind, how could I ever control the world? That's right, Pea Brain. If I were you, I'd concentrate on controlling myself. It's something that takes some skill. Why, you? I'll get even with you. I ought to... Uh, forget it! Gee, I really hated fooling old Fergnerd for so long. But if, as his older sister, I can't set him straight, imagine the incredible damage he could do. After all, what are older sisters for? It's a dirty, thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. Ferguson controlling the universe? What a thought. Only in my worst dream. When parents seem like aliens, siblings seem like strangers, and the whole world seems to have gone mad, there's only one thing left to do. Have Clarissa explain it all. Now you can see her anytime you want, because when you pick up a copy of Nickelodeon's Clarissa Explains It All, you'll have round-the-clock access to the one and only Clarissa Darling. Need some advice on the opposite sex? Then grab a copy of Clarissa Explains Dating, two unforgettable episodes about America's favorite hobby. First, Clarissa takes a look at blind dates. What are the odds of two strangers on a blind date liking each other? Probably about the same as Gandhi coming back to life, beating me up, and stealing my lunch money. And then see what happens when a boy who's a friend wants to become a boyfriend. It was good. It was bad. It got ugly. Before you go on your next date, be sure to check out Clarissa Explains Dating. Two great episodes in one video, now available from Nickelodeon. Pick up your own copy of Clarissa Explains It All and face the world with Clarissa in your corner or on your bookshelf or the cabinet or wherever you keep your video collection. Hey, you look like you could use a good scare. 
So why not collect a copy of Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? That way you can join the Midnight Society for a good scare anytime you want. You can frighten yourself and your friends any day of the week, any time of day. You can have a good scream in the morning, in the afternoon, any time you want. Because you'll be in charge of the chills. And now, there's lots of chills to choose from. Looking for some ghoulish excitement? Then pick up a copy of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Ghostly Tales and put a little terror on your two with two unforgettably ghostly tales. First, it's the tale of the shiny red bicycle, a chilling story about a teenager who must confront his own tragic past. And you'll also get the tale of the frozen ghost, featuring Melissa Joan Hart as a babysitter who joins a young boy in uncovering a spooky secret. Each story comes with a ghostly guarantee to send a chill up even the most fearless spine. When you own a copy of Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? You can plan a perfect evening of terror anytime you want. You can see your favorite scenes over and over. You can even stop the tape in the middle, go in a closet, scream at the top of your lungs, and then return without missing a single moment. So pick up a copy of Are You Afraid of the Dark and own some terror today. Also coming soon from Nickelodeon Home Video, visit the bizarre world of two brothers with the same name in the adventures of Pete and Pete, and meet the world's weirdest wallaby in Rocco's modern life. Elmer Fudd, who once wrote about the nearest and dearest enemy. Your sibling, of course. Ah, yes, sibling. From the Old English sib, meaning dork. Of course, in my case, I'm talking about Ferguson W. Darling. Now, Shakespeare, there was a guy who was well-versed in the problems of sibling rivalry. All those brothers killing each other over crowns and queens and stuff. We all must have had a younger brother. You see, the laws of sibling dynamics have been around for as long as there have been, well, siblings. The most important factor in determining your SRQ, that is sibling rivalry quotient, is birth order. In other words, who came first and by how much? I much prefer being the older child. On the other hand, if you're the youngest, your mission in life is making your older sibling miserable. Another law of sibling dynamics is that life is a constant battle for everything. You have to fight for attention, identity, the last piece of double mocha chocolate marshmallow crumb cake. Hey, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Being obnoxious? No, I'm looking for a book. You know, as in reading words, paragraphs, sentences. Ferguson, you'll have to leave. I'm busy demonstrating the rules of sibling dynamics. Oh, hi. Ferguson, please. Well, sis, as the superior sibling in this room, Perhaps I should offer some hints, being well-versed in sibling dynamics myself. Forget it, Ferg. Brains get lost. A tad threatened, aren't we, Slugface? No, Nimrod. Well, then, how are you going to stop me? Easy. As I was saying, the practice of name-calling such as Ferg, Brain, Slugface, and Nimrod, as you've just heard, is another tried-and-true weapon of sibling rivalry. It's simple, it's quick, and it leaves no lasting physical scars. Keeping all this in mind, sometimes there comes a battle so vicious and so terrible, you've just got to use every weapon imaginable. Think of it as all-out war. Good evening. Ferguson W. Darling here, speaking on the topic of sibling rivalry. It is my belief that a so-called sibling rivalry develops when there is a younger sibling, say, moi, who is smarter, better looking, and much more mature than the older sibling. This situation can be mercy. Ferguson, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm elucidating. Well, can it? Look, just because you're envious of my superior intellect. Ferguson, that's enough. <laughs> oh, I hardly think so. I haven't even begun to mention the red-headed fact. Okay, Carrot Top, I can't take any more. You'll notice the enlarged brain capacity of the red-headed sibling. This is... Poor Ferguson. He still hasn't come to terms with the hidden law of sibling rivalry. The older sibling always wins. Well, usually that's the way it happens. The last time we went head-to-head, -head, so to speak, I... Well, see for yourself. 
Oh, I'll never forget that training bra incident. Yeah, I can't believe you got away with that in front of your whole class. It was well executed, if I do say so myself. Yeah, and very embarrassing for me. And what about the time I put you in a straitjacket? Oh, you didn't tie me up in a straitjacket. I let you. In your dreams. Oh, by the way, another rule of sibling dynamics is that it's okay to call a truce once in a while. Yeah, everyone could use a breather now and then. Well, say goodbye, Ferguson. Wait a second. I was just going to tell them about the time when I hotwired your TV to drive you crazy. Bergwad, say goodbye. Oh, boy, I really had you that time. You thought you were hearing things. Don't make me. Come on, sis. That's not fair. Fair? Well, as they say, all's fair in love and sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm.